No CP plus easy fun plus simulated development, Fu Li, a migrant worker, unfortunately had a car accident on his way to work part dot time, and his soul pierced through a little beggar who was also a poor person from all over the world. Unexpectedly, he went to a different world and was still working to clean the table. Poverty drives her to work hard and cultivate immortality. However, cultivating immortality also requires a lot of resources. She was angry, and the humble worker transformed into a work maniac. No, really no, this month's sect tasks have all been taken by someone, said the deacon of the merit hall, sweating as he watched the disciples blocking the entrance. Who is it that is so insane and infuriating? Who is it? The disciples of Qinyun sect stood at the entrance of the merit hall, howling angrily. Fu Li sneezed repeatedly in his cave, looking innocent. Blame her. So a strange craze swept through the entire Qinyun sect. In the past, these disciples were all in arrears of sect tasks, and the task bulletin board was ignored. Now, they need to rush to do it, fearing that they will not receive the task even if they are one second late. Chapter 1 Enrollment Celebration You are listening at NovelFull.audio Boss, should we go and take a look at the enrollment celebration held by Qinyun sect this time? I heard there are more spots than before. What if we're lucky enough to be selected? Ma Lauer, who was as thin as a monkey, casually asked while stepping on the bench. Zhang Lao San looked around cautiously and lowered his voice, saying, there are rumors through the grapevine that all major forces are recruiting a large number of disciples to prepare for the cave secret realm in a year. With such a big move, it seems that the secret realm this time is not easy. What are you waiting for? Let's go take a look. What if we're all selected? Li Laozi stood on the side with a face full of facial features and thick beards, leaning against the wall, arms and chest wide, shouting. Monkeys are in a hurry. Even if you enter the Qingyun sect, you still have to be constrained. We are used to being wild, so what kind of good life can we have if we enter? The quota for the secret realm is also available in various aristocratic families. When the time comes, we can take down the quota for hiring the escort team. Not only can we go in and steal treasures, but we can also receive another reward from the aristocratic family Zhou Lao to kick Li Lao C's loud voice. The boss is so clever, why didn't we expect that? He he. Niu Lao Wu scratched his head and smiled foolishly. This is the largest tavern in Duyang City, where cultivators from all walks of life gather together, discussing the popular topic of the Qinyun sect enrollment celebration in groups of three or two. Taverns have always been popular places for gossip and discussion, and their business is good on weekdays. When encountering popular events, their business is directly full. Upon eavesdropping on this, Fu Li's hand wiped the table. She had grown up in an orphanage and had already gone to college. But due to financial difficulties, I often have to take on several part-time jobs to earn tuition fees. Unexpectedly, on my way to work part dot time, I had a car accident and my soul pierced here. This is already her third year here, and the original owner of this body is also an orphan who has been bullied and neglected, starving to death. When her soul descended upon this body, she was so hungry that her skin and bones looked pitiful no matter what. The tavern owner saw that she was hard working, with low wages, which was why they took her in and started working at the tavern. At the beginning, everyone else's soul pierced with all kinds of golden fingers. Even though she wiped the table in this tavern for three years just to make ends meet, she didn't know what cannon fodder script she was holding. This is located in the southern continent of Kyushu, and Qinyan sect is the largest sect in the continent. Apart from Qinyan sect, the larger forces are the three major aristocratic families led by the Jiang, Li, and Shui families, with some small sects and aristocratic families ignored. In the past, the recruitment of disciples by Qinyun sect was traditionally held every ten years, but it has only been five years since the last one. It seems that the rumors are not false either. Not only did she advance by five years, but she also planned to attract a large number of talents. However, 
this is also an opportunity for her to join the Qinyin sect. Xiao Ayan, what are you fooling about? Can't you do this job anymore? If you don't, pack up and leave. Manager Su stopped his abacus and pointed at Fu Li, cursing. Fu Li pursed his lips and threw the cloth in his hand, causing a fit of anger. Hi, of course I have to do this job. Whoever doesn't do it, no one wants to compete with me. Joking, she is determined to enter the Qinyin sect, but if she is not selected and cannot enter, there is still a way out. Manager Su is a bit unscrupulous, but if it weren't for him taking him in, he wouldn't have starved to death for the second time. Duyang City is a city under the jurisdiction of Qinyin sect, where there are cultivators from all walks of life. Killing is strictly prohibited in the city, but there are also some fish that may escape the net within the jurisdiction. These high cultivation cultivators who want to kill someone can't be detected even if they do it discreetly. And now she is just an unarmed mortal who can only rely on others. Strictly speaking, the ordinary people in this city are not truly ordinary people, but rather descendants of low qualified cultivators. These people have complex spiritual roots, and their cultivation speed is as fast as a turtle making it extremely difficult to break through. For other cultivators, it is no different from ordinary people. She has been here for three years and can't even afford a qi-boosting pill. If she wants to cultivate, she must first take a qi-boosting pill to understand the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and then enter her body to officially embark on the path of cultivation. The price of a qi-boosting pill is 300 inferior spirit stones, while her monthly salary is 5 inferior spirit stones, and she only saved 180 stones in 3 years, which is almost half of the difference from 300. But it is said that every new disciple of Qinyin's sect will receive one for free, and she must take away this wool. The next day, the martial arts arena that crossed Yangqing early in the morning was crowded with people. The arena was usually used for duels by monks in dispute, but it was temporarily requisitioned. Fortunately, the venue was also large enough. Sorry everyone, please make way. Fu Li's body is only 12 years old, and he didn't grow much due to long-term malnutrition. She has been raising for three years since she arrived, and now she is only a little over a meter tall. However, she is also better than being thin and small, and finally squeezed into the front row. How many inner disciples do you think will be elected this time? Gua Gua Chuanzhongjia began to gossip. In the past, there were no more than ten people who could be selected on the spot, but this time it's really different from the past. Perhaps the conditions will be relaxed a bit. In my opinion, there should be twenty spots this year, said the onlooker, groping his chin. Didn't you see that many people from big and small families have come this year? It's obvious that there's insider information and the younger generation of appropriate age is planning to send them in, the melon-eating crowd looked like I knew it all. That's right, these young masters and ladies from aristocratic families have been focused on cultivating the golden elixir since childhood. We can't compete with them, these proud sons of heaven. We don't have a chance to get a spot in the inner gate, said the onlookers helplessly. Upon hearing this, Fu Li couldn't help but ask, since these children of aristocratic families have a deep family background, why do they still enter the Qinyun sect? Is there something in the Qinyun sect that aristocratic families don't have? The sturdy big brother on the side searched for the source of the sound, looked down, and was startled. He almost stepped on this tall bean sprout that didn't even reach his waist. Quickly use your body to separate the crowded people next to you, to prevent them from accidentally stepping on this bean sprout. You little brat, what do you know? Qinyun sect is the largest sect in the entire Nanjo. It has guidance from various elders for daily cultivation, as well as advanced senior brothers leading the team for outdoor training. The sect has abundant cultivation resources, including pills, techniques, and treasures. Those with outstanding talents can also receive the unique inheritance of Qinyun sect. This is an unshakable heritage that even a noble family cannot shake, let alone those of us who come from unknown backgrounds. As long as you can enter and strive to be promoted to an inner disciple in the future, that's an endless future. 
Big Brother Biao Zhuang had a disdainful expression on his face and looked at her like a bumpkin with no knowledge. Fu Li suddenly realized and didn't mind his disgust at all. His eyes were shining brightly. Isn't this equivalent to university? Studying hard can earn you a scholarship, and you can even afford to eat and stay. How could such a good thing be missed? The crowd was bustling and whispering, afraid to speak freely. The guards of Duyang City surrounded the entire martial arts arena, and there were also disciples of Qingyun sect inside to maintain order. The Golden Core Cultivator lurks in the dark and uses his divine sense to detect the movements on the field. If there are troublemakers or unscrupulous individuals, they will be captured on the spot or killed on the spot. The people gathered here are not only those who want to enter the scattered cultivation of Qingyun sect and the children of various aristocratic families, but also those who purely gather to join the fun, but no one dares to act recklessly. Silence I saw a disciple of Qingyun sect wearing a blue Taoist robe stand out, and this shout spread with spiritual power to everyone's ears. The first prominent figure is an elderly man with white hair and purple Taoist robe, representing a figure of the level of elder of Qingyun sect. The old man stood in front of the stage, holding his beard and smiling kindly. Thank you all for attending the enrollment celebration held by Qingyun sect today. I am Kong Zhengyang, the chief examiner today, serving as the grand elder of Qingyun sect. This year, the number of disciples recruited is indeed higher than before, but the difficulty of assessment will not decrease, and our Qingyun sect also hopes to cultivate more excellent disciples. To promote the reputation of the sect, and to further develop the sect in the future, the elder delivered an official speech with great enthusiasm. Fu Li only caught one key point, what? Have all the elders of Qingyun sect come in person? In the past, the main examiners were all at the level of sect leaders, but this year it was actually led by the elder, which shows that the sect attaches great importance to this enrollment conference. She stayed here for three years, but did not know any more insider information about the secret realm. Only the major forces and sects held the core secrets. The truth of various rumors is not very true, it seems that only becoming a disciple of Qingyun sect has the opportunity to fight for the qualification to enter the secret realm. Chapter 2 Heavenly Spirit Root You are listening at NovelFull.audio The elder finished his speech and began to announce the assessment content. This assessment has a total of three levels. The first level is to test spiritual roots, mental strength, and physical fitness. Only those with the required qualifications can enter the next level. Usually, qualifications represent whether one can enter the threshold of cultivation and whether there is any cultivable value. Although this is a cruel fact, it is difficult for a person with dull talent to improve their cultivation. With low cultivation, they often only lose their lives in battle. It is better to live a peaceful life as an ordinary mortal. I saw several disciples placing three testing instruments on the stage of the martial arts arena, including the spirit testing stone for testing spiritual roots, the spirit seeking stone for testing spiritual strength, and the gravity table for testing physical fitness. The people on the sidelines are already eager to give it a try, and some who have not passed the test in the past also want to try again. The young masters and ladies, led by the three major aristocratic families, remained calm in the infield, while the more arrogant ones did not conceal their disdain. These children of aristocratic families are only in their teens, and when they reach the appropriate age, they will be sent to various major sects for training. They will only return to the family after achieving some success, usually inheriting the position of family head or becoming important pillars of the family. They have been nurtured by family resources since childhood, and each one has extraordinary qualifications. Naturally, they look down on ordinary casual cultivators from humble backgrounds. The first thing to test is the spiritual root. As long as you touch the spirit stone, it will emit a light of that attribute based on its internal spiritual root properties. Metallicity is a golden radiance, the wood attribute is a green glow, the water attribute is a blue glow, the fire attribute is a red glow, the soil attribute is a yellow glow. 
spiritual roots are further divided into pseudo-spiritual roots, earthly spiritual roots, and heavenly spiritual roots. Pseudo-spiritual roots are the least common type of spiritual roots, usually consisting of four or five attributes. The spiritual roots are diverse and the cultivation process is very slow. The earth spirit root has two or three attributes of spiritual roots, which are relatively abundant and have a considerable cultivation speed. The heavenly spirit root has only one attribute, which is relatively simple and pure, and its cultivation speed is extremely fast. The first person to come to power was the younger generation of the Jiang family, one of the three great aristocratic families, from the Qi dynasty in Jiangbei. He was dressed in a crescent white brocade robe cut and fitted, with a slender and straight posture, and light and slow steps, like a sesame orchid and jade tree, shining brightly in the wind and the moon, exuding an indescribable sense of nobility and elegance. A straight nose bridge, thin lips pursed slightly, and at the age of fifteen, he had a handsome face. I don't know how many women he will win over in the future. Jiang Bei Qi walked steadily to the edge of the spirit testing stone, placing his hand on it. The spirit testing stone instantly shone with the exclusive red light of the fire spirit root. Jiang Bei Qi, fire is the heavenly spirit root. The disciple next to him who was responsible for recording the roster loudly announced and wrote down the notes. Upon hearing this announcement, Jiang Bei Qi lowered his eyes and remained silent, with a handsome face as if everything was under his control. Oh my goodness, it's actually the heavenly spirit root. The audience exclaimed in amazement. Fu Li couldn't help but shudder as he looked at it. You should know that the heavenly spirit root is an unparalleled talent. Due to the complexity of other spiritual roots, it is difficult to maintain balance among several elements in the body when absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. In contrast, the cultivation speed is average. The heavenly spirit root only needs to extract one element of spiritual energy, so the cultivation speed of the heavenly spirit root is several times faster than that of ordinary spiritual roots. Moreover, there is no bottleneck for cultivators of the heavenly spirit root to reach the golden elixir stage. Once they possess the heavenly spirit root, it is almost equivalent to having a future golden elixir stage cultivator, and they also have a greater chance of breaking through to the Yuanyin stage. This talent is a key focus of cultivation wherever it goes. Having a heavenly spiritual root is already a gift from heaven and humanity, and the fire type is the most domineering among the five spiritual roots. The fire technique is mainly good at strong attacks, easily crushing other spiritual root cultivators in the same realm, and even more so, it can challenge cultivators two levels higher than oneself. The elder at the assessment seat nodded in satisfaction. It was rare to encounter such a talented immortal Miao, and his trip was not in vain. Next was the test of spiritual power. Qi from Jiangbei placed his hand on the Wangshan stone, closed his eyes, and felt the spiritual power in his brain. The Wangshan stone emitted a faint purple light. Jiangbei Qi, Prefecture Level Spiritual Power The better the spiritual power and aptitude, the greater the breadth of the sea of consciousness. As the cultivation level improves, the breadth of the sea of consciousness determines the strength of divine consciousness. Strong divine awareness often accompanies an improvement in various aspects of perception, not only in terms of listening, hearing, and observing. Its improvement brings more comprehensive effects, allowing you to perceive, predict, and even avoid danger in a timely manner. Moreover, the enhancement of divine consciousness is often a stepping stone to higher realms, and it also plays a great auxiliary role in alchemy and artifact refining. High-level spiritual power is the talent that every alchemist and artifact maker dreams of. But usually most people can only achieve basic spiritual power, and the qualifications for prefecture-level spiritual power are already extremely excellent. As for heavenly-level spiritual power, it is even rarer than heavenly spiritual roots. Since the end of the legal era, it has been a rare encounter in thousands of years and has been a legendary qualification. Finally, there is a physical fitness test. This gravity platform is a small formation that has been deployed. 
After stepping into the gravity platform, the cultivation on the body will be automatically reduced, and one can only use their pure physical fitness to resist gravity. Although disciples with cultivation are not allowed to cheat, the children of aristocratic families have been using gold pills and spiritual medicines to refine their bodies since childhood. Compared with those from humble backgrounds, this is itself a reasonable way of cheating. Fu Li can only sigh, class solidification is an eternal and unchanging valley even in the cultivation world, and there is no true fairness in any world. The calm face of Jiang Bei Qi before began to collapse at the moment the gravity platform was activated. Even the physique that had been improved from childhood quenching gradually couldn't withstand the increasing pressure of gravity. He gritted his teeth tightly, his body being pressed down by gravity to the point where it couldn't stand straight. Just as he was about to lose his footing, the gravity suddenly dissipated. This indicates that he has reached his limit, and the crystals on the gravity table emit a light yellow light. Jiang Bei Qi, at the prefecture level. Ground level root bones are already rare. The better the root bone qualification, the higher the defense. Spiritual cultivation itself is a weakness in defense, and improving physical defense can make one more survivable in combat. In fact, a good root bone qualification is more suitable for physical cultivation. Physical cultivation has amazing defense power, and it also has an advantage over spiritual cultivation in the same realm. Good root and bone qualifications are rare, and the path of physical cultivation is particularly difficult. It is very difficult for people to persevere. After completing the testing in Jiang Bei Qi, he stepped down from the stage and the disciple in charge of recording made a mark on the booklet. This kind of talent can already determine the number of spots in the inner sect. After entering the sect, after a big competition, the elders will select them as their personal disciples, and the subsequent assessment will only be a formality. Congratulations to Master Jiang, the young master of your mansion has exceptional talent. As a member of the Dragon and Phoenix family, he will surely become a big shot in the future. The young aristocratic families quickly congratulated him, hoping to brush off their favor. Ha, huh, everyone's praise. Jiang Jinan bowed back with his hand, always humble and peaceful, and now he is also flattered and praised with a red face. It's not arrogant either. Such qualifications can be considered top-notch in Antarctica. Whoever has such a child is truly worth showing off as a capital. Li Song Tang patted the table with his plump hand and interrupted the atmosphere, snorting coldly, Master Jiang, don't be too happy too early. Your noble son is indeed talented, and our Li family's children are not bad either. Oh, our Shue family naturally has a trump card, let's see who can win this first prize in the end, Shue Tonghua said calmly. The three major aristocratic families have always been at odds with each other, and they don't like each other. Everyone is used to it. Oh. Can it be compared to the aptitude of the heavenly spirit root? What kind of talent is it? I really make people look forward to it. The elder was interested. Encountering a heavenly spirit root is already fortunate, and now it seems that there are more than one immortal meow today. This grand ceremony is incredibly lively. Chapter 3 Moon Spirit Body You are listening at NovelFull.audio Since that's the case, I wonder if the next person can let us, the Li family, come first. Li Song Tang was so angry that his fat was trembling on his face. He couldn't help it anymore. Why should he let his Jiang family show off? I don't have any objections, please do as you please, Shui Tonghua remained unmoved, his old face showing no signs of joy or anger. The three major aristocratic families are competing against each other, while the other small aristocratic families and scattered cultivators dare not have any opinions. Moreover, they are curious about what kind of qualifications can rival the heavenly spirit root. Then my Li family will be disrespectful. Let's go up to the moon. Li Songtang's face was full of confidence. Li Moyue walked onto the stage under the gaze of everyone. At the age of fourteen, she was not afraid at all. She was like a proud peacock, 
full of confidence and publicity wherever she went. She was wearing a Rui Cloud crimson crimson brilliant dress, and the hem of her skirt refracted a stream of light as she walked. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to be an inferior defense tool. Injecting spiritual energy into the tool would activate automatic protection. The seven-star whip coiled around the waist is even more luxurious. The whip body is woven from the tendons of the second-level demon beast, the fire demon bull, and the skin of the third-level demon beast, the seven-star python, with a flowing light of fire properties throughout its body. This magic weapon is incredibly powerful, with no resistance during the qi refining period, and dare not easily touch it during the foundation building period. The Seven Star Whip is a lower grade magic weapon that can be used to recognize a master by dripping blood. Once a master is recognized, others cannot take it away unless the original master's body is completely destroyed. The difference between magic weapons and treasures is significant. Even a noble family cannot easily take out inferior treasures to reward the younger generation. Li Moyue has been protected by this spiritual weapon weapon at a young age, which shows her extraordinary level of favor. The arrogance of the Li family once again refreshed Fu Li's understanding of the aristocratic family. Dan Tycoons blinded her eyes, and she struggled for three years without even being able to afford a qi-boosting pill. Crying to death, why can't wealthy people in the world have her alone? Fu Li is still biting his handkerchief to vent his anger, while the spirit testing stone on the stage has already bloomed with golden and blue light. The body of forging gold. But there is also a water spirit root coexisting. Elder, do you think this is? The disciple in charge of recording hesitated for a moment. This has exceeded his understanding, and this combination of dual spiritual roots is really rare. Everyone in the audience is also discussing the body of forging gold is a natural gold spiritual root, extremely sensitive to metal activity, and is a good seedling for becoming an alchemist. Moreover, metallicity is already an extremely rare spiritual root, and every forged body has a single metallic heavenly spiritual root or a dual attribute of gold and fire. But Li Moyue is actually a double spiritual root of gold and water, which makes it difficult for everyone to determine whether it is good or bad. Water relies on gold to produce water, but when gold is abundant, water becomes turbid, when gold can produce water, water is abundant and gold sinks, when strong gold obtains water, it will only defeat its edge. The two complement each other and continue to grow, which is beneficial. This water spirit root can increase the cultivation speed of the forging gold body several times. Compared to ordinary exercise bodies, it is even more rare and truly qualified to compete with the heavenly spirit root the elder has a wide range of knowledge, and although this combination is rare, he knows a little about it. Indeed, this forging body does not necessarily have a fire spirit root. Ordinary earth fire can also be used to refine weapons. If one has the chance to find the spiritual fire of heaven and earth in the future, it will be immeasurable, said the head of a small aristocratic family nodding in agreement. And water and fire are incompatible, but if this fire is an external object, it will not be affected. This water spirit root can assist in cultivation, but it does not affect the refining of tools. It really has all the benefits. Other small aristocratic families also praised it without leaving any effort. Who doesn't want to please the future alchemist? Maybe there will be times in the future when they come to ask for help with refining. Upon hearing this explanation, everyone suddenly realized and envied the Lee family for having a promising alchemist. No matter how good the heavenly spirit root is, it is not as popular as an alchemist. The disciple in charge of recording no longer hesitated and announced, Li Moyue forged a golden body, with dual spiritual roots of gold and water. Li Moyue, prefecture level spiritual power. Li Moyue, at the prefecture level. After a round of testing, Li Moyue's arrogance grew even stronger on her face, and her magic weapon was shining brightly, blinding people's eyes. She strode down the stage. Li Song Tang was so happy that the corners of his mouth were grinning back of his head, and he didn't hide his provocation. Master Jiang, 
isn't the future master of the Lee family's weapon refining stronger than your spiritual roots this day? Hmph. Jiang Jinan brushed his sleeves and breathed heavily, but he didn't choke. The three major aristocratic families have always been at odds, but they haven't reached a point where water and fire cannot tolerate each other. If there is a need to speak up in the future, there is no need to make the relationship too awkward. Shui Tunghua calmly picked up his tea cup and took a sip of Ling Cha. Shui Hengsu stood straight behind her, her purple jade like eyes emitting an indescribable expression. Her lips were red and teeth white, and her fair skin looked like an egg mask that could be blown and broken. Her lips, like cherry blossoms, curved in a crescent shape, and her cold and aloof eyes watched the scene calmly. Li Song Tang was immediately displeased when he saw that the Shue family had no response for my postpartum child, what are the opinions of the water family leader? Is it possible that your water family also has better qualifications than our Li family? Shue Tonghua put down his teacup and sneered, Masterly, although the alchemist is rare, his ability to cultivate the immortal realm is greater than anything else. If his strength is exceptional, why not confine one alchemist to his own use? The remarks of the Shue family immediately caused a sensation. There are few alchemists, and no matter where they go, the major forces will yield three points, let alone offend the Li family, a talented alchemist, unless the strength of the water family really reaches a level that other aristocratic families cannot compete with. Li Song Tang was furious and said, Shue Tonghua, what do you mean by this? If you don't make it clear today, you will be openly enemies with our Li family. Shui Tonghua shook her head. The Shui family disdains to fight against such small local forces and is not worth arguing about. After all, they are the adults behind them, and the Shui family will take a different path in the future. Ignoring Li Songtang's jumping feet, Shui Tonghua gestured for Shui Hanshua to climb up. Shui Han Shui nodded slightly and accepted the order. The smooth swan neck line of the neck exuded elegance, and the golden thread of the smoke purple gauze skirt complemented it with a fairy like beauty. She has a graceful orchid like posture in her demeanor, with ink hair draped over her side like a waterfall. Her sparkling eyes sparkle like stars, and her small face, the size of a palm, reveals a breathtaking beauty. This purple figure stepped onto the stage, as if adding a coolness to the hot and dry atmosphere. The restlessness of the crowd slowly subsided with the appearance of water, cold and snow, and she seemed to emit a soothing aura that could suit the soul. A pair of fair and delicate jade hands were lightly placed on the spirit-testing stone, and a pure blue light rose up from the sky. Upon closer inspection, a few faint purple hues still lingered. Water is cold and snow is the root of the heavenly spirit in the water system. The disciple in charge of recording will write. Wait. There's something wrong with this spiritual power, the elder suddenly stood up. Is this child the moon spirit body? It is rumored that the most obvious manifestation of the moon spirit body is the spiritual energy carrying purple energy, which cultivates extremely quickly under the moon, even faster than the heavenly spirit root. The most important point is that the purple chi in spiritual power has the power of purification, which can ward off evil and purify demonic chi, as well as soothe negative emotions caused by restlessness. The elder, who has always been self-centered and steady, rarely loses his composure. There are demon tribes in Beizhou and demon tribes in Shizhou, both of which have always been a concern for the Kyushu continent. The demon clan has been eyeing the Kyushu continent for a long time, and the predecessors of the true immortal era have been fighting against it for millions of years without falling behind. At that time, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth was rich, and all four continents had abundant natural resources and rare spiritual bodies. Various talented talents and rare spiritual bodies were everywhere, and various sects and schools of thought competed to produce talented people. It was called a glorious era. But now, with the advent of the end of the Dharma era, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is becoming increasingly thin. 
For tens of thousands of years, there have been no cultivators in the cultivation world who can soar again, and the cultivators with the moon spirit body have disappeared, leading to an increasingly difficult situation in the entire cultivation world. For tens of thousands of years, they have still struggled to defend their last line of defense, and if they lose the entire Kyushu continent, cultivators and mortals will inevitably face misfortune. The cultivators in the anti-Japanese war on the immortal and demon battlefield are deeply eroded by the demonic energy, which makes it difficult to heal their injuries. The purification power of the moon spirit body can remove the demonic energy attached to the wound and play a great role in the immortal and demon battlefield, which is more precious than any qualification. What? Is this really the moon spirit body? Li Song Tang looked at Shui Tonghua in shock. Ordinary casual cultivators may not be able to reach that level, but major aristocratic families understand the interests involved, and the moon spirit body is crucial for the entire cultivation world. That's right, this is the body of the moon spirit, the root of the water system heavenly spirit, Shui Tonghua nodded calmly. Upon receiving a positive answer, Li Song Tang and Jiang Zhenan's faces darkened, and they sweated profusely from behind. There have been rumors before that there is a powerful force in the upper realm behind the Shui family, but they still don't take it seriously. In the end of the Dharma era, no one was able to ascend to the upper realm, but this does not mean that the great figures in the upper realm cannot communicate with the lower realm. Otherwise, how to explain the origin of the moon spirit body, a constitution that requires ancient secret treasures to wash marrow, is not a secret treasure that can be obtained in the lower world. On the surface, the three major aristocratic families were balancing each other, but now the water family has taken the lead, and the battle of power has been decided without gunpowder. The people who eat melons are not sure why, but the aptitude that can surprise the elders should be a great talent, just cheering along. Water, cold snow, prefecture-level spiritual power. Water, cold snow, earthly roots and bones. Shui Han Shui stood tall, her face full of joy and anger, and her skirt swayed in the wind, making her look ethereal and ethereal, with a noble and aloof temperament. Chapter 4 Superb Spiritual Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio The younger generations of the three great families have completed the testing. Compared to the three geniuses, the ones who came on stage later are not enough to watch, and everyone is drowsy from watching. Fu Li was ranked at the bottom, and her mood was also very uneasy. She was originally a starving little beggar who had never had the chance to test her qualifications, which was just as exciting as opening a blind box. Finally, it was her turn to take the stage. Fu Li could only pray that God would not joke with her. Even if there was no script for the eldest female leader, please give her a role as a supporting role. She was so nervous that her hands were trembling. She gently placed her hand on the spirit stone, and the next second, a rainbow-like light burst forth. Fuli, the five series pseudo-spirit root. The disciple in charge of recording said expressionlessly, and the pen in his hand mercilessly crossed out Fuli's name. This kind of garbage qualification is not accepted. Fu Li stood there dumbfounded as she watched her name be crossed out. In an instant, she reacted and quickly shouted, Wait a minute, I haven't tested what's behind me yet. How could I just cross out my name? The disciple in charge of recording looked impatient. He had seen so many people like this, could he really believe that anyone could pass the assessment? He really didn't know the superiority of heaven and earth. Qin Yun sect could easily enter. If you are a four spirit root, you can still have the opportunity to enter the door and become a worker. The five spirit root is simply a useless spirit root, there is no need to test it again. Go down. Dare to cause trouble here, carefully lose your life, the disciple pointed at Fu Li and angrily rebuked. Oh no, even if I don't have any hope, I still have to complete the testing according to the process. Fu Li argued logically, unable to believe that he came over to clean the table for three years just to become a passerby, and how could he make arbitrary conclusions before the testing was completed. The commotion here caught the attention of the assessment seat, 
and the elder looked at it with a displeased expression and asked, What's going on here? Why is there so much noise in this scene? Elder, I didn't cause any trouble, but according to regulations, I should be qualified to test three qualifications. But now, before I finish testing, is it unfair to criticize me for stepping down? Fu Li snatched in front of the disciple and explained, showing a neither humble nor arrogant attitude. Report to Elder, no, this matter is only because this little child is a waste spirit root of the five series, and there is no need to continue testing. The disciple then blasted her down. Who would have thought she would cause trouble if she refused to let go? Please make a decision on this matter, Elder. The disciple in charge of recording gave Fu Li a fierce glare. If he is implicated and punished, he will not be spared. No, Elder, I. Fu Li wanted to explain further. All right, according to her, the elder raised his hand and interrupted Fu Li's words. There is indeed no rule that says it is not allowed to complete the test. As for whether one is qualified to be selected after the test, it all depends on their personal qualifications. If they don't focus on completing the test, it won't take much time. Today, he met three talented immortal seedlings, which made him feel very happy. He didn't want to lose face with the sect because of such a small matter, after all, there were so many people watching on the field. The commotion grew louder, and everyone in the audience turned their attention to Fu Li. This little boy was stubborn, and everyone sneered as if watching the commotion. Fu Li felt a suffocating aura in her heart as she walked up to the side of the Wangshan stone. She had not yet infused her energy into her body, and she didn't know how to sense the sea. She just placed her hand on the Wangshan stone. I saw the watching god stone emit a dazzling purple light, submerging most of the martial arts arena, and even Fu Li's eyes couldn't open when this light pierced him. For a moment, the laughter on the stage suddenly came to an end, and everyone looked at each other with a ghostly expression on their faces. I'm afraid the Wangshan stone is not broken, is it? Elder, this. The disciple in charge of recording was also confused. This question is beyond the outline. How could this be possible? It may be even more dazzling than the heavenly level spiritual power, but the heavenly level spiritual power is already a legendary qualification, let alone a qualification even better than the heavenly level spiritual power, if I have to say so. That must be super spiritual power. The elder frowned so much that he could strangle a fly, which he had never seen before. There have been records in ancient books of this special level spiritual power, and every one is a genius who can refine pills or weapons. However, that is also described in ancient books. Nowadays, there is no such qualification, let alone the five spirit roots. But everyone was waiting for him to speak, and he couldn't say he was as ignorant as he was. He could only calmly speak up and say, perhaps this hope god stone has malfunctioned. You can test it again and see how it works. Fu Li obediently listened and obediently released her hand before putting it on, but the statue of the deity was like a light bulb with a switch installed. When she released her hand, it went out, and when she put it on, it lit up like a headlight. Back and forth, I just put it up and let it go a few more times. The martial arts arena was so clear and bright that it was like a disco, with purple light flashing and flickering. If it weren't for the seriousness of the audience, she would have screamed twice on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. Upon seeing this, the elder waved his hand to signal the talisman to stop. He awkwardly coughed twice and said seriously, there is still a large stone inside the sect, which may be damaged and unpredictable. Follow me inside the sect to test it again. You can continue to test the next item. Upon careful consideration, it is indeed unlikely that the five series wasted spirit root could have a qualification stronger than the heavenly spirit power. It should be due to the damage of the Hope God Stone. Upon hearing that she could enter the sect for a retest, it meant that no matter what, she would have a chance to enter and find a way to stay. Fuli was overjoyed in her heart, but she pretended to be serious on her face. Although everyone reluctantly accepted the words of the elder, 
they still had a hint of doubt and watched Fu Li's next performance. In front of everyone, Fu Li stood seriously on the gravity platform. As the gravity table started, she felt a strange force, but before she could react, she was already lying on the ground with her face on the ground, lying on all fours like a salted fish, and the test stones on the gravity table did not even emit a single glimmer of light. Damn it, she fell so hard that stars appeared in her eyes. She forgot about her past constitution of starving to death, so she shouldn't have any expectations. Everyone looked at Fu Li lying on the ground and burst into laughter, dispelling the last hint of doubt in their hearts. A child with a useless spiritual root, whose physique is so weak that it cannot persist for even a second, truly cannot have such strong spiritual power. Even if she were to go to Qinyan sect to test again, it would just be a joke, and after the test, she would be blown out. Fu Li struggled to get up from the ground and rub the forehead that had been hit. As for the mockery at the scene, she didn't care at all. Anyway, she went to settle for Qinyan sect. The elder's face became indescribable, and he regretted saying that he had asked the little boy to go inside the door to have his mental strength tested again. This performance was unreliable no matter how it looked. But the words have already been spoken, it is unlikely that he will regret them on the spot, which would be shameful to him. On second thought, it's just another test left and right, and it's okay to have someone take it down the mountain after the test. Chapter 5 Second Round of Assessment You are listening at NovelFull.audio The first round of screening tests is nearing completion, with a total of 200 cultivators meeting the required qualifications, excluding Fuli. Qualified cultivators are gathered in the middle of the martial arts arena, and every ten cultivators are led by an inner disciple of Qinyan sect to the next assessment location. The next assessment location is at the foot of Qinyan sect mountain. They need to take the snow eagles raised by Qinyan sect to go there. Some of these disciples have already drawn qi into their bodies, while others have mortal bodies like talismans. Choosing to ride flying mounts is the most secure method. This snow sculpture is 5 meters long, with a wingspan of over 10 meters. The entire body is snow.white, and some upper parts are covered with dark horizontal spots, which is very beautiful. The snow sculpture is a unique second-order monster in Beijo, with extremely fast and stable flight speed, making it an ideal flying mount. But surrendering a second-order monster is not easy. A second-order monster is equivalent to the cultivation level of a human cultivator at the beginning of the foundation building period, and the monster is naturally strong in constitution. Even if both cultivators are at the beginning of the foundation building period, it is difficult to break through its defense. At least a cultivation level above the middle of the foundation building period is needed to have the strength to fight. At first, it was the elder who came forward and forcefully crushed and subdued one with the cultivation of the golden elixir period. However, the monster has always hated humans and would rather self-destruct than submit to humans as mounts. Finally, on the condition of offering the elixirs required for the cultivation of demon beasts every month, an equal contract was signed with the sect. Under the equal contract, neither party could force the other to do anything they were unwilling to do. This not only gave dignity but also benefits, and there was no reason to refuse. Up to now, Qinyan sect has 30 snow eagles, which hold the same status as the guests in the sect. This is a mutually beneficial cooperative relationship, and no disciple in the entire sect dares to disrespect them. On the other hand, they will provide mount services and provide assistance in times of difficulty for the sect without affecting their own crisis. They can also be considered as a strong escort team for the sex foundation building period. In order to avoid offending these cultivators who participated in the assessment, a stable inner disciple was arranged to lead a team of ten people. Twenty teams were reorganized and waiting to depart, while the cultivators sat excitedly on the backs of the snow sculpture, discussing what the next assessment would be. Only Fuli stood alone and foolishly stood alone. Her situation was really special, and for a moment, it also made Fan Xiangyang, the deacon of the spirit beast garden who arranged the team, difficult. 
helpless, he could only grit his teeth and seek advice from the elder. I would like to inform elder that a total of twenty teams have been assembled and are on standby. However, there is still one. The little boy named Fu Li. I don't know how to arrange it, so I am here to ask for your advice. The elder pondered slightly and said, let her also go with you. Regardless of whether the test results are good or bad in the future, if she fails the last two assessments, she doesn't need to take another test. On the first day of last month, ten snow eagles were taken away by inner disciples who went out for training. Now, there are only twenty snow eagles left and they are already full, so there is really no space left. Director Fan wiped the sweat off her head, blaming her for having too many spots in this assessment, but she was just one of them. The elder waved at Fu Li, gesturing for her to come over. Fu Li turned around in a daze and realized that there was no one else next to her, only then did she confirm that the elder was calling her, and quickly ran over. Elder, what can I do for you? Fu Li bowed and asked obediently. The elder habitually smoothed his long beard and looked at Fan Xiangyang, saying, let everyone go, she'll come with me. Fan Xiangyang was shocked, but he didn't dare to say much. The little boy had a blessing in disguise and said, yes, I take orders. The elder offered a flying boat, which is an inferior flying treasure. The outer shell of the flying boat is covered with ripples of a defensive formation, which can withstand the attacks of foundation-building cultivators. It also comes with a small spirit-gathering formation, which can accelerate the recovery of spiritual energy in the body when using this flying boat to avoid pursuers in battle. Fu Li looked at this handsome flying magic weapon and was extremely envious. When will she also have her own flying magic weapon? The elder took the lead in stepping into the flying boat, and Fu Li followed closely behind. Due to the elder's authority, she dared not cause trouble. She stood behind the flying boat honestly, keeping a distance from the elder and reducing her sense of presence. Their flying boat took off first, followed by the snow sculpture army led by Director Fan. The sharp-eyed female cultivator felt instantly unbalanced when she saw Fu Li riding on the same flying tool as the elder. That useless spirit root is also worthy of riding with the elder. How could it be that someone like Water Cold Snow Daoist is qualified to stand by the elder's side? This useless person really has bad luck. Shue Hanshue closed her eyes and meditated in the middle of the snow sculpture's back. Upon hearing this, she opened her eyes and looked at the flying boat ahead. Her purple eyes showed no emotion, only a glance at the sarcastic nun and then closed her eyes again to rest. The nun thought her words could arouse Shue Hanshue's dissatisfaction with Fu Li, but she didn't expect that Shue Hanshue not only wasn't angry, but also didn't care at all. Shue Hanshue's gaze seemed to be able to see through the filthy thoughts deep within her, which made her feel uneasy. She immediately shut up and didn't speak. But the same words were heard by Li Moyue on the back of another snow sculpture. She stared at Fu Li's back and frowned in dissatisfaction. She had never liked this kind of commoner and had no self-awareness. The protective cover of the flying boat blocked the cold wind and dust, but Fu Li still sneezed, thinking that her physical condition was too weak. The speed of flying magic tools and snow sculptures was very fast. In half an hour, they arrived at the foot of a mountain in Qinyan sect, and a large army descended onto the open ground. In front of us is a dense bamboo forest, with thick mist floating in it. The scenery is elegant, making people feel like they are in a secluded and secluded place. Fan Xiangyang stood up and pointed to the bamboo forest behind him. The second level of assessment is this bamboo forest. It's very simple. As long as you walk out of this bamboo forest within a stick of incense, you will pass the assessment. Only those who pass will be eligible to enter the third level. Do you understand? A disciple hesitated and raised his hand, asking, Director Fan, may I ask if there is any danger in this bamboo forest? Fan Xiangyang shook his head and said, No, there are no Taoists who have not passed the test. Our Qinyun sect will be responsible for escorting them back to Duyang City. 
Whether they succeed or not depends on your abilities, but private fights are not allowed inside. Once discovered, your assessment qualification will be cancelled on the spot. Assessment begins. With a command, led by Shui Hanshue, Jiang Bei Qi, and Li Moyue, the remaining cultivators rushed towards the bamboo forest one after another. Fu Li followed the footsteps of the main army and ran in. At first, he could still see fellow cultivators running ahead, but at some point, the mist in the bamboo forest gradually thickened, and the visible range became only half a zhang. The surroundings were eerily quiet, with only her breathing left in the bamboo forest, and those cultivators were nowhere to be seen. Chapter 6 Illusion You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Fu Li was panting heavily while running, not sure if it was her illusion. She felt that the oxygen here was getting thinner and the lungs were also feeling pain due to lack of oxygen. She had to stop and stand in place to rest, but the situation did not improve and she was sweating profusely. I only felt increasingly uncomfortable, and I could even hear the sound of my heart beating rapidly, and my mind began to feel dizzy and drowsy. Until she fell heavily to the ground, the intense pain of landing on the back of her head made her mind regain a hint of clarity. Fu Li felt that something was wrong here. Director Fan said there was no danger here, but the thick fog was like killing her. If it continued like this, she would have to suffocate here. Suddenly, she thought of a possibility, isn't this just an illusion? If this fog can lead people into illusions, then everything makes sense. There happened to be a small stream next to her. She walked over and reached into the water, then covered her mouth and nose with her wet sleeves to minimize inhaling thick mist. Without a second breath, the scene in front of Fu Li completely changed, the thick fog dissipated, and the line of sight on both sides of the road became clear. The cultivators she thought were gone all appeared by her side, but all of them were painfully addicted to the illusion. If these people couldn't wake up in time in the illusion, they might not pass the assessment. The time for a stick of incense was limited, and she didn't care about these cultivators. She covered her mouth and nose and ran forward quickly. She ran too quickly and didn't pay attention to her feet, only to bump into someone at the corner. That purple veil is too recognizable, and Fu Li is also a beauty control. I can't bear to let the beautiful woman lie on the ground, run out for two steps, and quickly fold back. The person lying on the ground was Shui Hengsu. Her eyebrows furrowed and she was whispering something. Looking carefully at the corners of her eyes, there were still tears, and she didn't know what was in her illusion, which made her so sad. In theory, children of aristocratic families with such qualifications as Shui Han Shui cannot be trapped in this illusion for too long, unless something happens in the illusion that makes her subconsciously unwilling to wake up. Seeing her fragile appearance, it really does not match her usual cold temperament. Fu Li sighed and couldn't ignore the person she knocked down. Half lifted Shui Han Shui up, then took out a clean handkerchief and covered her mouth and nose. Seeing that she was still in a state of illusion, she didn't dare to cover it too tightly. Seeing the cold and snowy water and not waking up all the time, and afraid of not having enough time, Fu Li was conflicted about whether to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation or artificial respiration. So when the water was cold and the snow was quiet, I only saw a woman's pouted face slowly magnifying in front of me. As she was about to kiss, she ignored the wet tears on her face and slapped Fu Li away with a palm. The palm of Shui Han Shui unconsciously carried spiritual power, and with a loud cry, Fu Li flew into the nearby grass and rolled several times. Her mother. There is no reward for doing good deeds, Fu Li just wants to shout and stop meddling in his business. Her chest was writhing in excruciating pain from the slap, and her throat was still tinged with a hint of blood and sweetness. She lay motionless on the grass on the spot. Shui Han Shui regained her senses and discovered the handkerchief that had fallen from her chest. She instantly realized that she had hit the wrong person and quickly got up to check the talisman in the grass. Looking at Fu Li lying on the ground like a corpse, Shui Han Shui felt remorseful. Although his palm had regained its strength, 
his mortal body couldn't bear it. She hurriedly pulled out a pill of Spring Revival from her body and fed it to Fu Li. Spring Revival pill is a medicine for treating internal injuries and has a miraculous effect on this type of internal injury. When Fu Li was about to faint from the pain, he only felt a pill stuffed into his mouth. The pill melted in his mouth and there was a hint of coolness. The cool sensation reached her chest through her throat, relieving the constantly surging pain. However, her body was too fragile to resist and she fainted. Shue Hanshue didn't wait for Fu Li to wake up, so she lifted her whole body and rushed forward. The time for a stick of incense was approaching, and with a guilty heart towards Fu Li, she had to carry him through this level. Jiang Bei Qi was the first to leave the bamboo forest, followed closely by Li Moyue as the second, and most of the other cultivators also arrived one after another. But everyone never saw Shui Han Shui's figure, after all, as a goddess-like figure, any movement could attract attention, so they all speculated what the problem was. The elder stood with his hands down and looked at the exit of the bamboo forest, wanting to know what the situation was. In theory, Shue Hanshue is the most talented among this group of people, and he also has the moon spirit body. How could he have dragged it on until now? If this time passes, according to regulations, even the most talented person will be expelled. Finally, at the last moment when the incense was burned, Shui Hangsu appeared. The original goddess of perfection was in a state of embarrassment, with a person still on her back. Take a closer look at that person, isn't it the talisman of the void spirit root? Everyone looked at each other in confusion. At the moment when Shui Han Shui stepped out of the bamboo forest, he was so tired that he collapsed on the ground. Ignoring her own image, she used overdrawn spiritual power to rush on the way, carrying an unconscious talisman on her back. She even took two tonifying pills midway, grateful to have caught up at the last moment. The elder was also surprised as he looked at the disheveled water, cold snow, and the unconscious Fu Li. The bamboo forest was only decorated with mist that would make people fall into an illusion, and anyone with a firm Taoist heart could quickly wake up. Besides, there are no other dangers, how could they be like this? He used his divine sense to investigate their injuries in the past. Shui Hengsu's spiritual power was depleted without any major harm, while Fu Li had an internal injury that had not healed. He looked like he had already taken medicine, but his body was weak and he fell into a coma. The elder injected spiritual power into Fu Li's body, and the rich and pure spiritual power repaired Fu Li's damaged internal organs. After combing through her spiritual power, almost all the injuries on Fu Li's body healed, and she also woke up at this moment. He looked at the two of them and sternly questioned them, what happened inside you? Why did she get hurt like this? Give me a reasonable explanation. I warned you before departure not to engage in private fights, otherwise you will be disqualified from the assessment. Fu Li was still in a confused state, but suddenly regained consciousness and quickly explained. Elder, this is all a misunderstanding. I accidentally bumped into my water-cold snow Taoist on the road. I saw that she had been having nightmares all along, so I wanted to try to breathe some fresh air into her. I didn't want to scare her, so I accidentally slapped her, but it was not intentional, it was purely accidental. Shue Han Shue's face turned red instantly when she heard that Fu Li was going to help her breathe. How could she save someone like this? The onlookers had a skeptical expression on their faces, as this little female hooligan was attempting to belittle their goddess and even had the goddess escort her on her back all the way. They think Fu Li's explanation is just sophistry, who knows if she has any special tendencies. Chapter 7 Third Round of Assessment You are listening at NovelFull.audio Watching everyone with unfriendly eyes, Shue Han Shue quickly spoke up to help Fu Li explain. Report to Elder it was my mistake that injured Fu Li, a Taoist friend. This matter is all my own fault, and it was my own unstable Tao heart that caused the illusion to affect me. It has nothing to do with her. It's okay if Shui Han Shui doesn't explain, but this explanation takes all the responsibility onto themselves. 
It's obvious that they need to protect Fu Li, and their hatred towards him will be even deeper. Well, since this is a misunderstanding, we won't hold anyone accountable. Elder Fu Er, this little boy is really a troublemaker. He can cause him too much trouble and really give him a headache it is impossible for Shuei Hanshua to be expelled. She blamed herself for all the mistakes, so he naturally cannot pursue Fu Li's fault again. Fu Li ignored the pointing of others and looked gratefully at Shuei Hanshua, knowing that she had been exposed to the light of Shuei Hanshua. Although it's not her fault, if it weren't for Shuei Hanshua taking over, what would happen if her qualifications were wrongly accused and expelled? No one would care about the life or death of her useless spiritual root. Shuei Hanshue took the Buling Dan to restore some overdrawn spiritual power, and she regained her cool appearance. Her purple eyes drooped slightly, making it difficult to see clearly. Just being stared at by Fu Li's gaze, there was a slight unease hidden in her eyes. Since childhood, no one has been able to get so close to her, but she almost the more Shui Hengsu thought about it, the more she couldn't calm down. She could only turn her back and avoid looking at Fu Li. For the first time, she had a feeling of wanting to run away. Fu Li is completely unaware of the thoughts of others. In her mind, first aid is just a common action, and even if everyone is a girl, there is no need to avoid suspicion. Although she is poor, she cleans up very well every day and has not offended the goddess. Moreover, she has helped her and repaid her kindness. Fu Li didn't expect that Shuei Hanshue, as a noble woman, would be quite easy to get along with, completely lacking the superior attitude of other aristocratic children. Although the elder had spoken and exposed this matter, everyone still stared at Fu Li with unfriendly eyes, afraid that she would make any further inappropriate actions. Looking at the highly anticipated Fu Li in the crowd, Li Moyue felt a bit annoyed. How could it be her again? The young ladies from the small aristocratic families surrounding her instantly stepped forward and leaned over to please her, saying, this useless spiritual route is really annoying. She has no self-awareness at all. Even if she passes this second level, she will definitely be expelled from the next level. Yeah, I can't stand these lowly people messing around like fleas. Their qualifications are so poor, and they deserve to participate in the assessment with us, which lowers our level. So why can even cats and dogs easily enter the Qingyun sect said another daughter of a small family harshly. Of course, Li Moyuan knew that the daughters of these small aristocratic families were all trying to please her, after all, their families had requests from the Li family, and these people and things she disliked didn't need to be taken care of by herself. She had these people who were trying to please her to help her handle them. She had become accustomed to using these relationships, just taking what she needed. Everyone has finished their rest and the time is approaching Shinchu. After passing this level, 200 cultivators participated in the assessment, and only 180 arrived on time. These people are usually trapped in the illusion due to their impure thoughts and unstable Tao mentality. Fu Li didn't expect that after the bamboo forest came out, this was actually the true Qingyun sect mountain gate. The mountain gate is made of stone, with a lively and rustic design of the phoenix kiss at both ends of the main ridge. The three characters, Qingyun sect, gilded on the plaque look quite imposing. Besides, there is nothing special about the mountain gate of Qingyun sect, which is so inconspicuous. If the elder knows Fu Li's thoughts, he will definitely scold her for being ignorant. The mountain gate is carved from meteorite, which is a rare material unique to Shizhou. This stone is extremely hard and can defend against attacks from the Yuanying period. It is usually used to refine defensive armor or as a formation stone embedded in defensive formations. The materials used for the mountain gate of Qingyun sect are already bold, and it was carved by our ancestors with the power of transforming gods and cultivating cultivation. This defensive power makes it impossible for cultivation below Yuanying to leave a single mark on the mountain gate. And that plaque has a great origin, which was inscribed by a senior in the ancient era of true immortals. This character doesn't just look imposing, but truly has momentum. This momentum contains a profound Zen meaning, 
and ordinary demons and demons dare not approach within three Zhang. The elder announced the final assessment. Starting from the mountain gate and continuing upwards will lead directly to the inner gate of Qinyan sect. Those who arrive within one stick of incense are called inner disciples, those who arrive within two sticks of incense are called outer disciples, and those who arrive within three sticks of incense are called miscellaneous servants. Some people say that this ladder is as long as a thousand miles away, but others say it is as short as reaching the sky in one step, and the taste can only be experienced by yourself the elder said something that puzzled them, but did not reveal the mystery behind it. In fact, this level mainly assesses intelligence, and cultivating immortality is a path that goes against heaven and earth. Practicing requires a lot of time, but a person's lifespan is limited. Understanding can improve cultivation efficiency, save time for absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, break through before the lifespan is depleted, and also enable faster learning of martial arts, which is greatly beneficial for understanding the laws of heaven and earth. Even if the qualifications are poor, a cultivator with good comprehension can reach a much higher level in the future than a cultivator with good qualifications and poor comprehension. Testing one's aptitude and Tao mind can only determine whether a person is suitable for cultivation, but understanding is an important factor in determining what level a cultivator can reach in the future. Fu Li stared blankly at the sky ladder that rushed straight to the clouds. Compared to those cultivators who had already infused qi into her body, she was now a mortal body, and could walk to amputation with just her feet, right. To put it bluntly, she still accepted her fate and followed the army. The other cultivators who have already infused air into their bodies have already sprinted ahead, while the remaining ones who have not yet infused air into their bodies, like Fu Li, rely on their feet step by step to move upwards. The other end of the ladder rises straight into the sky, making it difficult to see how long it is. At first, everyone could still enjoy the scenery along the way and talk and laugh, until after a stick of incense, they couldn't see the top, and they couldn't laugh anymore, leaving only anger and jealousy. Why can those cultivators who have already infused qi into their bodies arrive first? Perhaps they have already obtained the quota for inner disciples, and they don't know when they will arrive yet, making it difficult for them to balance their minds. After two sticks of incense, everyone felt physically exhausted, and the mortal body was always limited in ability. They vented their grievances, complaining about themselves. After three sticks of incense, time had passed and they were exhausted and collapsed to the ground, completely giving up on themselves. They couldn't even become a laborer in Qingyun sect, and their mentality collapsed. They even cursed and cursed at the unfairness of heaven and earth. Fu Li buried her head and walked forward from beginning to end, and the comments of those people did not affect her. As time passed, she also became impatient in her heart. Chapter 8 Heavenly Ladder You are listening at NovelFull.audio Fu Li is different from those cultivators. She is not a person from this world. She has a hard life, whether in her past or present life, she lives like an ant. Finally, she is about to graduate from university. She thought she would have a bright future, but never wanted to come to this land. As those monks said, perhaps there is a person in Rome who can ascend to heaven from birth, but she is still struggling in the quagmire, living without any dignity. She really doesn't understand why ordinary people like herself are countless, and what is the purpose of a life of mediocrity. She has always lived heartlessly, rarely feeling so sentimental, but now her nose is sore and tears are streaming down her face. In her past life, she was bullied in an orphanage and did not cry, when she was so hungry at school that she couldn't sleep, she didn't cry, I didn't cry even when I was harassed while working part dot time in college. Now in this unfamiliar world, she cried she cried for herself, who had a car accident in her previous life, and for, little Fooly, who had starved to death in her body, as well as for her ordinary and humble life standing on this ladder at this moment. If she couldn't enter the Qingyun sect, what else could she do as an ordinary and insignificant person? Fooly felt unprecedented confusion. Why did heaven arrange for her to come to this world? 
Amidst the multitude of sentient beings, a mayfly in this world is all suffering. Fu Li's eyes were filled with tears, murmuring softly, but suddenly understood something. Who is not the mayfly in this world? She wants to travel to heaven and earth with the regret of these two lives, watching all the joys and sorrows in the world. There are many people who give up on themselves next to them. They are completely immersed in their emotions, and no one pays attention to Fu Li, let alone why she suddenly goes crazy and cries loudly. She even talks to herself while crying, not even seeing her disappear. Yes, Fu Li suddenly realized that perhaps the road ahead was long and difficult, and perhaps she would return to the tavern to be mediocre. But one day she will save enough spirit stones to buy the qi boosting pill, even if she is a waste spirit root, it is not impossible to cultivate, just like this ladder that leads directly to the heavenly court, step by step there is no end to it. As long as you work hard and do what you should do, don't hit the south wall and don't turn back, who can say for sure if there is a chance for rebirth in the future? If we don't strive for this day, how can we have hope? Don't those arrogant people need to work hard? If one's own qualifications are poor, there is no reason not to work hard. Fu Li's gaze remained firm, and his heart no longer wavered. I saw Guanghua suddenly appear, and she was already in the inner square of Qinyan sect. Did she do it? Fu Li is puzzled, isn't it time for the three sticks of incense? Why are only a few people arriving at this square and not everyone else? Shui Hanshue was surprised by the sudden appearance of Fu Li, and didn't expect her to arrive at the same time as herself. The elder looked at Fu Li with a look of admiration in his eyes. The little child's intelligence was quite good, but unfortunately it was a useless spiritual route. It was her strange spiritual power that needed to be tested again to see what the result was. Since ancient times, there have been people who have achieved positive results in the cultivation of the five spirit roots. However, during the end of the Dharma era, the cultivation world declined, leaving cultivators with the five spirit roots with no chance of turning over. Fu Li regained his usual playful smile and once again exerted his thick skin skills, moving to the side of Shui Han Shui. Shui Han Shui Dao Yu, why are there so few people here? Isn't it time for the three sticks of incense? There's no way, who would let her know that the only person in this scene is Shue Hanshue. Shue Hanshue was startled by Fu Li who suddenly approached her. Her purple eyes were tinged with a hint of fear, and she instinctively took a step back to the side. She is really not good at socializing. In the past, those people would not dare to approach her and talk to her when they saw her expression, but this charm is different from others, as if they cannot see their own sense of alienation. Shue Han Shue's vermilion lips lightly parted and patiently replied, it's only half a burning incense stick since the assessment started. This ladder tests intelligence, and if you walk seriously, you may never reach the end of your life. You are just deeply immersed in it, not realizing that the passage of time is just an illusion, but if you have an epiphany, it is not impossible for a breath to arrive. Upon hearing this, Fu Li's mouth widened in surprise. No wonder he had become so affected by the heavenly ladder. Wait, that means she has obtained the quota for inner disciples. Fu Li was doubly shocked and overjoyed, unable to pay attention to propriety. He grabbed Shue Han Shue's hand and laughed heartily. From today on, I will be the inner disciple of Qinyan sect. You are older than me, I should call you senior sister. Shui Hangsu was suddenly held by Fu Li's hand, and she felt uncomfortable. However, looking at her pure and clean smiling face, she suddenly felt as if she didn't really dislike this feeling. Ah, it's still too early to call you senior sister. Have you forgotten that you haven't tested your spiritual power yet? With your qualifications as a pseudo-spiritual root of the five elements, even if you have higher intelligence, you are far from ordinary inner disciples, let alone if it's a spiritual power test. In the following words, Shue Han Shue doesn't want to continue hitting Fu Li. With her ability to destroy her spiritual roots and mortal body, her high intelligence cannot be remedied. Even if we test our spiritual strength again, there is not much hope. 
I'm afraid we won't be able to get the quota for this inner sect disciple. Fu Li naturally understands the meaning behind Shue Han Xue's words, but she has a good mentality. Even if she doesn't qualify for the inner sect, she can still apply for a spot as a miscellaneous worker. Qin Yun's sect is so big that we can't tolerate her being a mere laborer. And as Water and Snow said, as time passed, cultivators arrived at the square one after another until the time for the three incense sticks arrived. Among the cultivators who participated in the third level assessment, except for Fu Li, only 95 were able to arrive within the specified time. Fu Li looked at the fact that from 500 people registering in the first level to 200 people participating in the assessment in the second level, only less than 100 people were able to pass the third level. The assessment of Qin Yun's sect was indeed very strict. Those who can stay on site have undergone strict tests of qualifications, Taoist mentality, and comprehension, and have certain cultivation value. Next, they will become a new group of entry. Level disciples of Qin Yun sect. The elders stood above the square, with elders from each peak standing on both sides. As soon as the new batch of disciples arrived, each peak received news in advance that there were three outstanding geniuses this year, and no one wanted to miss them. A disciple holds a roster and reads out the list of candidates who have passed the assessment at this ceremony. Jiang Bei Qi, Inner Sect Disciple, Shui Han Xue, Inner Sect Disciple, Li Moyue, Inner Sect Disciple. A total of 21 inner sect disciples were hired in this assessment. Ling Su, external disciple, Zheng Yu, external disciple, Jian Lu, external disciple. A total of 31 external disciples were hired in this assessment. Chen Xian, miscellaneous disciple, Gu Zhen, miscellaneous disciple, Gui Xian, miscellaneous disciple. A total of 40.3 miscellaneous disciples were hired in this assessment. Upon hearing this, Fu Li surprisingly didn't even have her name on the list of miscellaneous workers. So she's leaving. Chapter 9 Becoming a Worker's Disciple You are listening at NovelFull.audio Elder, what about me? I haven't made a decision yet. Fu Li's voice was a bit abrupt in this serious occasion, instantly attracting the attention of all the disciples present, and the elders of each peak also looked at her, a disciple with a rebellious personality. The elder naturally did not forget her. This child has been a headache for him all the way, even if he wants to forget it, it is difficult. He instructed his disciples to bring the largest god-watching stone in the sect. The group of daughters from aristocratic families led by Li Moyue looked at Fu Li with disdain and disdain. They were waiting for this useless spiritual route to make a fool of themselves, and then they were kicked out of the sect. Such people were also worthy of joining the Qinyan sect, it was simply a pipe dream. What good spiritual qualifications can a useless spiritual route and a mortal body have? It's just a matter of self-humiliation. Most people on the field are waiting to see a joke. At first, the elders of other peaks were unclear, but upon hearing the discussions of the disciples around them, they all understood what the situation was. This kind of qualification really has nothing to look forward to, it's just a waste of everyone's time. They mainly want to see which good disciples can be recruited today. Newly recruited disciples will have a newcomer competition in six months. At that time, each peak will select some talented immortal seedlings as their own disciples, while those who are not selected will continue to stay in the inner sect. Good performing outer sect disciples and miscellaneous disciples also have the opportunity to be promoted. At this moment, a disciple flew over with a sword and landed on the square. He grabbed the key and took out a large Wangshan stone tester from his storage bag. Report to Elder, the disciple of the Hope God stone you requested has arrived. The disciple placed the testing instrument and retreated to the side. As usual, this tester was placed in the merit hall, but now it has gone through a lot of trouble to bring over a useless spiritual route. He doesn't take it seriously, but he dare not monetize it. This is the largest God-watching stone inside the door. There will be no more mistakes. Come up and give it a try. The elder signaled to leave, and he wanted to see what other moths this child could produce. 
At this moment, Fu Li was simply a collection of hatred, with everyone's unfriendly eyes fixed on her. If it were someone else, she would have been like a thorn in her back, but she walked up like nothing had happened. She skillfully placed her hand on the god-watching stone and saw a purple beam of light rising from the sky, making this large testing instrument unique. Previously, the small one at most detected a sudden appearance of purple light, but now this beam of light has transformed into a sharp sword pointing towards the sky, soaring straight into the clouds and breaking through the sky. Is this really the legendary super spiritual power? The elder's pupils suddenly shrank, his heart beating violently, and an expression of disbelief appeared on his face. But this kind of qualification has never appeared again since the advent of the end of the legal era. It has been tens of thousands of years, unheard of, and the existing information recorded in ancient books is only briefly mentioned, without too many detailed records. The elders of each peak all had different expressions for a moment. This little boy actually possessed this amazing special level spiritual power qualification, and his intelligence was also good. Unfortunately, he was a useless spiritual root. If your physique is poor, you can use heavenly and earthly treasures to harden your body. However, the difficulty of cultivating the five spirit roots is also a problem that they cannot solve. Instead of spending a lot of cultivation resources to cultivate an uncertain disciple, it is better to use these resources to cultivate other disciples with better spiritual root qualifications. However, it is possible to consider the path of alchemists or alchemists, as it may be difficult to achieve great results due to the impure nature of wood and gold spiritual roots. Both alchemists and alchemists can only achieve limited success in the end. Even in the era of true immortals, only two predecessors successfully ascended with the cultivation of the five spirit roots. Moreover, the cultivation method of the five spirit roots has been lost, and there is no place for them to turn over. It is truly regrettable. And those who were waiting to see Fu Li's joke were so shocked that their mouths were wide open and they stood still. How could this guy really come? For a while, the problem returned to the elder. According to the current test results of Fu Li, he should be hired as an inner disciple. But if we look at the cultivation speed of her five spirit roots, the newcomers will also be at the bottom of the competition, occupying the number of inner disciples, which is difficult to convince the crowd. After pondering for a moment, the elder spoke up and said, although today according to regulations, you should have obtained the position of an inner disciple, it is also a fact that your five spirit roots are difficult to cultivate. If you are not virtuous enough, you will eventually find it difficult to subdue others. I will hire you as a miscellaneous disciple today. If the newcomer after June can perform better than you, and then restore your identity as an inner sect disciple, can you accept this arrangement? Without hesitation, Fu Li replied, I obey your orders and I am not dissatisfied. She has no backing in Qingyun sect, so if she becomes too prominent, she will definitely be targeted. However, her identity as a miscellaneous disciple is not I. Catching. At least the newcomer de Bai still has a chance to turn things around, and she can understand the implied meaning of the elder. The elder nodded. This child has a good temperament, able to bend and stretch, and is not bound by small details. Today, he is hiding his light and recuperating his abilities. It is also a good thing for him to make a breakthrough in the Japanese. It all depends on the newcomer's comparison before making plans. Others felt much relieved when they saw that Fu Li had only received a spot as a laborer. It's just a waste of spiritual roots, no matter how good her other qualifications are, she still wants to turn over. I'm afraid it's impossible. This kind of person is not worthy of being compared to them. At this point, the recruitment ceremony for new students has ended, and the newly recruited disciples are led by senior brothers and sisters from various peaks to claim the cave. Except for the elder's personal disciples who can live on the same peak as the elder, the inner gate, outer gate, and miscellaneous workers all live on their own exclusive peaks. Of course, the living environment of these three peaks is different, and the higher the position, the better the resources they enjoy. 
Fu Li and other miscellaneous disciples followed a deacon from the miscellaneous service peak to the miscellaneous service peak. The entire Qingyun sect has 16 peaks, each requiring a large number of miscellaneous disciples to maintain daily operations. The inner and outer gates are mainly focused on cultivation, and the daily affairs of the sect naturally fall on the disciples of the Zai peak. Therefore, the disciples of the Zai peak are the most numerous. Usually, Zai Feng is a group of disciples with poor qualifications, but they can improve their own cultivation by completing sect tasks, obtaining cultivation resources, and also have the opportunity to be promoted to external or even internal disciples. The entire miscellaneous peak is surrounded by mountains, with a total of 100 floors. Those with higher positions such as the main hall and deacon of the miscellaneous peak live on the top layer of the peak, and are pushed down in order of seniority. There are a total of 10 caves on each floor, which can accommodate up to a thousand people. However, the Qingyun sect currently has over 400 miscellaneous workers, and the number of new recruits today is less than 500, so it is relatively spacious. Fu Li saw this floating mountain peak for the first time, with more than half of the entire peak above the clouds, as if one could reach out and touch the cotton candy like clouds. She was excited like a monkey, curious about everything she saw, and seemed out of place compared to other disciples of the same age who were mature and steady. Chapter 10 Staying in the Miscellaneous Labor Peak You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Dear new disciples, I am Xiao Wan, the steward of the Zai Peak. You will all be under my jurisdiction in the future. I hope you will always adhere to one principle in your daily life, which is to be cautious in your words and actions when doing anything. Today, you officially become a member of our Zai Peak. Our Zai Peak is a unity of honor and disgrace. In the future, when going to work at each peak, be cautious in your words and actions to avoid causing trouble. If not, you will be punished according to the rules of the sect, and in severe cases, you will be expelled from the mountain gate. Deacon Xiao continued to strike these new disciples seriously as usual. He is in charge of nearly 200 disciples, busy every day in dealing with the troubles caused by these disciples. Especially these new disciples, who are neither too big nor too small, don't understand any rules, have clumsy hands and feet, and always cause trouble for him, making him very annoyed. Thinking about this, Director Zhao's face turned even darker and he impatiently waved his hand, letting Lu Wu, who was waiting on the side, come out and take these people. He turned around and left. Everyone can naturally feel Director Zhao's impatience, all of whom are young children as old as Fu Li who have never seen the world before, bowing their heads like quails. Upon seeing this, Lu Wu, who had been waiting for a long time, stood out. He was a disciple of the previous Zai Peak, only five years older than these little guys. I am your senior brother, my name is Lu Wu, and I live on the fifth floor of the Zai Peak. If you have anything you don't understand in the future, or if you have anything you don't understand in cultivation, you can ask me. The smiling expression on Lu Wu's face exuded a kind temperament, which relieved these new disciples. It seems that this senior brother is more easy. Going. The disciples paid their respects to senior brother Lu, and a group of young children obediently bowed. No need to be polite, you can first receive the introductory gift, and later I will take you to choose the cave. Lu Wu looked at these new disciples as if he had seen his original self. He pinched the formula and took out the gift box from the storage bag on his body, waving his spiritual power to lower the gift box in front of each new disciple. Fu Li picked up the gift box and opened it with ease. Inside were two sets of Qingyun sect Taoist robes, two bottles of elixirs, and in addition, a jade plaque. You can open it and take a look. There are two sets of replacement Taoist costumes inside, one bottle of Pai Gu Dan, one bottle of Hui HP Dan, and a jade plaque representing your identity. Lu Wu patiently introduced the contents of the gift box to these new disciples. If you need to meditate in seclusion for a long time during your cultivation, you need to use the Pigu Dan. Only after you build the foundation can you use the Pigu Hui Blood Dan, 
which has a miraculous effect on both internal and external injuries. Lu Wu picked up a bottle of Pigu Dan and said. Fu Li took out the bottle of Pigu Dan from the gift box, opened it and smelled it. There was a faint herbal fragrance, but there was nothing special about it. As for the jade plaque, it is a unique token of the Qinyin sect. After the blood drops recognize the master, your identity information will be bound, and you can use the jade plaque to communicate with other disciples in the sect. In addition, after completing sect tasks every month, you can go to the merit hall to receive a salary. Lu Wu carefully explained some precautions within the sect to these new disciples. Tomorrow, when you gather here for a spiritual enlightenment class, two elders from spiritual and physical cultivation will personally teach you how to bring qi into your body and guide you on what path is suitable for you to practice. With the guidance of elders, they will avoid many detours, which can also be considered a benefit for new disciples. This kind of opportunity is very rare. On weekdays, the disciples of the Zai Peak can only go to each peak to listen, but they do not have the qualifications to be guided by elders. Lu Wu earnestly warned these new disciples to cherish the opportunity. Fu Li grinned his big teeth happily on the side. She didn't expect to have a class to attend. Not only did she receive the qi boosting pill for free, but it also saved her a lot of trouble. She was worried about how to cultivate it. After explaining some introductory instructions, sect rules, etc., Lu Wu began to take these disciples to select the cave. The upper level of the Zai Peak is already full, so we can only arrange for this group of new disciples to move to the middle section. According to regulations, they have four levels to freely choose from, and Fu Li decisively chose the bottom fifty levels within the range of choices. Each floor is mixed with men and women, because each cave has restrictions that can prevent cultivators below the primordial stage from spying on their divine senses, so there is no need to worry about being disturbed. Everyone chose to choose the highest possible number of floors, but Fu Li didn't care. She always likes to be quiet and lives a bit more quietly. Moreover, there is nothing worth fighting for in a miscellaneous worker peak. She will never stay here for too long, and there is no difference in where she chooses. When Lu Wu Yujian arrived at the fiftieth floor with her talisman, she asked her to take out her jade plaque. The jade plaque must be bound to the owner's identity information before it can be bound to this cave. In the future, she will need a jade plaque to open the restrictions of her cave when entering and exiting. Fu Li took out his jade plaque and prepared to bite his finger, after all, it's how it's portrayed on TV. Lu Wu quickly stopped her and said, you don't need to be so bloody. Let me help you. He grabbed one of Fu Li's fingers and pinched a trick, only to see a drop of blood floating from Fu Li's finger onto her jade plaque. The originally grey jade plaque instantly became transparent. Fu Li didn't even feel the pain, so he had to criticize that the TV shows were misleading, and the cultivation world was quite convenient. Junior sister, your jade plaque has been bound to the cave now. You should rest today, and I will bid farewell first. After seeing off the talisman, Lu Wu has to take other disciples to choose the cave. Thank you, senior brother Lu. You've worked hard to bring me over today. If there's anything I don't understand in the future, I'll have to ask you for more advice. Fu Li said with a bow of gratitude. It doesn't matter, we are all from the same sect and should help each other. I will say goodbye without hesitation. After Lu Wu finished speaking, he turned around and left with his sword. Fu Li watched as Lu Wu left before turning around and using a jade plaque to brush open the restrictions of his cave. He said that the cave was really just a hole dug in the rocks of the mountain, with one room and one living room inside. All the furniture in his site was made of stone, including stone beds, tables, and benches. Overall, it is empty and spacious to live alone. Most cultivators are pure cultivators who spend a long time meditating and practicing. I don't think they have much opportunity to use these. There is a spring at the entrance of the cave, and there is also a medicinal field next to it, which does have the taste of cultivating immortals. Fu Li had been running around all day, feeling unclean all over her body. 
she took her newly issued Taoist robe and went to the spring to wash up. Fortunately, it was in summer, otherwise she would have caught a cold in her mortal body. After washing up, she was wearing a grey Taoist robe exclusive to her miscellaneous disciples. Unexpectedly, this robe would automatically retract according to her height, so it should not be made of ordinary materials. When Fu Li was lying on a stone bed in a Taoist robe, ready to fall asleep, she closed her eyes and suddenly opened them again. It was then that she remembered that she had forgotten to say goodbye to the innkeeper of the tavern. Suddenly, she thought there was still a chance to go back, but she ended up staying there. If there was a chance to go down the mountain, she would have to take a look.